I ready? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, there's a giant screen right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just don't see heartbeat yet. Maybe. Oh, he's moving. Okay. So everything looks okay? Yay! Well, I'm gonna do, I have to do a full anatomy though. Okay. Okay, so my kid's gonna come in here now. So I, I couldn't see any real legs. Like, I'm kind of still afraid that she still hasn't done the anatomy. So I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking of that as a negative I don't want to go We'll just watch the TV and you'll see what the baby looks like. Okay, so I'm going to do my full anatomy ultrasound, okay? Right, you're going to take a bunch of measurements, basically? Yeah. Okay, should I just look up? But I still can't tell if this baby is normal or not. I don't know. I'm freaking out. That's what I'm here for, relax. Oh, gosh. Is it a boy or a girl? Shh, I told her I didn't want to know. Like, I've had two dreams that the baby, like, came out and was really healthy and it was an easy labor. And then last night I dreamed that, like, people were trying to steal my baby and make me go into labor early. Like, that looks normal. Yes. But now, I don't know. I'm just afraid that because I lost two that something's, like, wrong with me and so something will be wrong with the baby. I don't know. I understand. At least it doesn't have a broken heart. Well, right. But I'm just hoping. It looked like the baby still had a tail to me. Did I just mistake that? That's that's the lumbar spine. Okay, so he doesn't have a tail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I would guess I'd be okay with that, because I know that's like an okay. I mean, the baby can still live a normal life if they have a little tail. Did you know that, Billy? Some people are born with little tiny tails. Can they move them? It's just like I a don't stump. Know. I don't know, but it's they call it a vestigial tail. So like, is it like visible when you're walking around? Like I don't know. something like that? Like, like a little hand. hand. Is it sucking my thumb? <laughs> the baby's sucking her thumb, Billy. Is that a bone? Is it like a femur bone? Or something? Yeah. You can read these pretty good. Huh? Well, I've seen some ultrasounds, but you know, I saw one that was. I've seen good and bad, <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of... Give you a better shot now. All right. Okay. Why does it have the weird gel on it? This helps me see better. That looks like a head to me, am I right? Are you are right. Okay. I hope it's a human head, not a donkey head. Yeah, it's definitely a human head, I think, in this one. I think I saw, like, the front of the kid's face first. I think I did too, yeah. Like, the pig eyes. Like... Do they look like an alien? I think he's past the alien stage, or she, he or she. He, it shouldn't look like an alien the, anymore, right? Yeah. It should look it, like a human now. It, sh it should look like an elf now. 
So you didn't see any open like spinal cord deep. That's what this switch open, right? Not closed. Yeah. I'm gonna look at all that. Okay. So that's the side of the baby. You see the side? Yeah. And it's moving and stuff. I saw a spinal cord, but I just I don't know how you would tell if the skin's closed up around it. I can I can look. I have to look at in two different planes. Can I go tell. wash my show? This is kind of old. Oh my goodness, yes, go. Just be very careful of getting around the tripod, please. Um, careful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. And close the door, please. That's the cervical spine, okay. It's two. Am I seeing the edges of the vertebrae? You're seeing the this looks like ribs. there's two spinal. Oh, okay. No, it's supposed to look like that. Okay. It's supposed to look like railroad tracks. Okay. So and there's the one part. That's good. Mm -hmm. seen a good shot of anything to say no but some weird girl. Oh no. Well I guess with Billy they just like got the right angle and I was like whoa that's a boy. Well I'm kind of trying to go around it because you told oh, me you didn't okay. want to know. Okay. I don't know. Because you didn't want to know. Yeah. I don't, I don't, uh, yeah. I, I think that's. Okay. I don't want to give it away because you told me you didn't want to know. Right. Okay. Yeah maybe a surprise would be nice. Yeah. There's a foot right there. A foot? So, Oh, two feet. I see yeah. two, right? Yeah. Oh. Is that the no? That's not the crotch, right? No, I can't see that. Well, you can't see, see the it. leg is bent yes. up, right? Okay. Little mm -hmm. on gel right here. Right? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't shut up. I'm just... No, you're fine. <sighs> Am I pretty good at this ultrasound yeah, stuff? Yeah, you're pretty good. You can read I the took, of the hand. I took anatomy and stuff. Wait, where is this? Oh my goodness. Right on the face. Oh, <laughs> it's good. Baby's measuring good. So maybe I should have a contest with my YouTube viewers to see if they can guess. I don't know. But then that's a 50-50 shot, so I'd have to be giving out a lot of prizes. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations! Thank you! <laughs> I have a healthy baby! <laughs> I think... Yeah. So if any of you uh, got a good idea as to whether that was a boy or a girl, then send me your comments and um, maybe you can make a guess and maybe I'll have like a small prize for everybody that guesses the right sex because I don't think I want to know. What do you think? Is it more fun to not know? I don't know. I don't know. Um, actually, a lot of people are waiting now. Yeah, I, I just, I have this desire not to know. So you guys tell me what you think, but... I didn't see anything definite in there. With Billy, it was obvious, but she really did a good job avoiding it. Okay. Oh, this is Blue Bonnet. What is it? Blue Bonnet, Bonnet Diagnostics. Blue Bonnet Diagnostics in Georgetown, Texas. So, and I didn't like have to wait, and it was great, and they're really nice. Okay, bye. What did you think? I know it was boring, and you just wanted to know if it was a boy or a girl. Close. 
Seriously. But what do you think about it? This your sibling is healthy. What did it look like? A boy? Did it look like a girl? What do you think? Honestly, it looked like both. <laughs> so you have no idea, huh? No idea. Well, what did what do you think about your sibling? I think either my sibling is a boy <laughs> or it's a girl. Right, but other than that, what do you think? The what? I'm well, glad. You're glad? Max, can I just put it in my toy? Huh? This is how my siblings' things look. Let me see that. If you hold it still. Your sibling look like that in the ultrasound? Yeah. Like a skull. It looked more like, it looked more like the skull part side. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so do you want to say anything in case your sibling is watching this video in a few years? This is your insides, buddy. <laughs> okay, all right, thanks, bye. Okay, guys, so that was my 18-week ultrasound, and um, I promise I'll put makeup on before my radio show tonight, but anyway. Um... I tried to zoom in on the part where she was like, do you want to know the sex? Because I thought maybe it might have been showing at that point. It is just really hard to see. And I could see a little bit better in person, but anyway, I put it on like 1080p HD for the editing, but when I was recording, I forgot to have my phone set to the HDR mode. So it didn't pick up as high quality as it usually does, because I guess I was trying to save memory. I don't know. It was really stupid for me to have it off at that point. So I'm sorry. That's the best you get. Um, but if you see anything, I want to know what you think, because whatever. But I really have no idea. I have no idea. And I know, like, a little boy is supposed to look like a turtle, and a little girl is supposed to look like a hamburger. You know, my friend Shanna told me that a long time ago. And I knew it right away with my kid, but that I have now, but she was just like, no, I'm avoiding it. Anyway, so just guess or give me your expertise. And if you guess correctly, I have no idea what I would want to give you. I don't know, like MP3 of my songs, which means nothing because everybody just converts them on this MP3 converter thing and they never buy them even though it only costs 99 cents. But anyway, I'll give you like whatever song you want in P3, if you care about that, or because like if there's a bunch of you and it's a 50-50 shot, I can't really give away something that expensive, but but it's fun just to guess, isn't it? Yay! Um, but what I'm happiest about is the baby looks healthy, and there's plenty of fluid, and there's a heart that beats, and I think I counted five toes. Not six or two or whatever. And um, so that is very exciting. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to give birth at home even if it's breach. So if the baby doesn't flip around, I'm still going to give birth at home. I don't like hospitals or doctors. And my midwife, Sandra Talbert from the Natural Birthing Center, has over 20 years of experience. And that was one of the first things I asked her was, what if it's breached? Can we still do a home birth? And she described their specific techniques that they know, like, I might have to be in a different position. Like, I might have to get on my hands and knees or whatever, or just the baby. I might have to sit differently to get gravity to, like, work with the birth if the baby's breech, but um, it'll happen. It will happen. And doctors sometimes try that, but they're really quick to like do an emergency C-section because they're always afraid like the collarbone is going to break or the shoulder is going to get dislocated or whatever. I don't really see why that would happen coming out one way more than the other, but I don't know. I'm not a midwife or a doctor. Anyway, I hope you all subscribe. And that would help me out a lot because 
This is my outlet. I love you guys. Okay, bye.